everyone, it's Heather and welcome to another Maisel Monday. Today I am doing this Maisel inspired hairstyle. I hope that you guys enjoy it. To find inspiration for this look, obviously I've watched hours and hours of Maisel, but I also looked to the head hair department for the show. I have to say that those who are actually working in television um, typically aren't like Instagram famous, they don't have a lot of online presence, so it's very difficult to track down department heads sometimes. Jerry DiCarlo is who does the hair on Maisel. He's also done some of my other favorite movies like Carol. I thought that movie had a beautiful um, hairstyling. I have seen some sneaky video of Jerry DiCarlo and Peggy Shireholtz doing the hair on Maisel on Rachel Brosnahan. Um, it is a wig, and so they style it on her head, but it is already pre-curled and pre-rolled on the um, wig head, and then they bring it over for the show. I'm sure they have many different wigs for the character because there's a few different styles. Some of them are more set and a little bit more what I would say evening looks and then some of the looks are a little bit more brushed out. They're not as defined curls and they're a little bit more of a loose relaxed style as much as the late 1950s can be. If you're interested in seeing how I got this particular look all you have to do is keep watching because we're gonna get right into it right now. To get started with this look I'm going to be using my brand new Hot Tools curling iron. This one is a three quarter inch curling iron which is what has been missing from my repertoire. I normally use a one and a quarter inch um, curling iron which I love as well um, but I thought I would try this one out today. Mitch tends to do kind of a modified almost a modified page boy but it still has kind of some curl down at the bottom so that's what we're going to attempt today once we get this curl in here. It's a very simple hairstyle. The hardest part is the curling. So normally I would part my hair right over the arch of my eyebrow. So somewhere right in here. And that just usually gives you the most natural looking part, I find. Um, for Maisel, you may come over just a little bit further than normal um, because we're not going to be doing a lot of height in this hairstyle today. We're going more for the curl at the bottom. This is a style that would be really easy to wear with, um, <laughs> you can see. Oh, the static is strong today. This is a style that would have been worn with a lot of hats, so you kind of don't need all of the volume here up at the top. You're just looking for something to frame the face and frame um, right around where the hat would normally sit. I love in season two, there are quite a few little spots where you can see them doing hair. And uh, it was definitely a pin curl set under a dryer, which would have been the norm for the day but I'm going to be using heat styling today just because it's faster and it'll give me, like I said, a little bit more of that loose curl. I'm gonna take the curling iron, put it in here, kind of run it toward the middle of my hair and then wrap it around. And then I'm just gonna kind of open this up just a little bit to get all of those ends and make sure that they've all run through the curling iron. And this just helps keep all of the heat concentration off the end of your hair, but also make sure that every little layer gets caught in there and gets curled under. So once you've done that, the most important part of this whole thing is just taking that and I like to roll these into a standing pin curl, just like this. So even though we're not going for a voluminous set, I still like to do standing pin curls on my hair because it is so straight um, that this will at least give it some volume as we go through here. Okay, so once you got everything all curled under, all you have to do is let this sit. Um, go do your makeup, you could go do your calisthenics, you could read your lady's home journal, um, whatever you need to do to pass about 20 to 30 minutes. That's what I like to do to just let this all cool down 100%. You want it completely cool. Now I am completely cool, then I'm just gonna start taking out all of these little clips. I'm just gonna take my fingers and gently kind of brush through these curls just with my fingers to start to break up all of those little curly cues that we've made. Then I'm gonna take my brush. You can use any kind of brush. This is just what I have on hand. This is a back combing brush. Um, and I'm just gonna start kind of moving all of this curl that's here. I want it to be down at the bottom. And so to do that, you just have to brush it down you can see we're already kind of starting to get the shape. And with this front bang section, I always brush it back and away from my face and it'll kind of naturally start to form the curl that we're gonna get. 
Once I kind of have it all to the fluffy stage, I'm gonna take a little bit of pomade, just the teensy tinesiest amount because there's so much static in the air right now that I wanna cut back a little bit on that. So literally just like a fingernail's worth. And I'm gonna warm that up between my hands like so and just kind of rake it through. This will add some shine. It'll give me a little bit more control over all these little flyaways and it will help everything stay put. And it'll help everything stay put um, as best as we can. Now, when I'm brushing, I like to take my hand and run it over the part where I want it to be smooth. And we can go ahead and start um, brushing this back into place because Midge pretty much always wears her hair tucked behind one ear. And if you brush it back and down, you'll get a little bit more of a um, wave kind of style pattern here as well, instead of just brushing it straight down. While I'm going along with this, I'm using this Kenra working spray. This just allows me to kind of give a little bit of hold as I go, but it's not like the finishing spray. And it also adds a little bit of shine um, to the hair. So the more layers of this that you can kind of build up on your hair, the longer it's gonna last, honestly. And then I wanna make this come down a little bit more. If you need to, you can come back in here and just give a little bit of back combing to this underneath section. And that helps fill in all those little gaps so that you kind of can't see through the hair as much. I don't mind a little bit of that um, just because it's, it's natural. It's what hair likes to do. Um, but this will help give it a little bit more of volume as we go and brush all of this out and through. If you want a little bit more of a sleek look, switch over to your comb and that'll keep a little bit of that frizz at bay. To kind of help hold this into place, I'm just gonna, for right now, take a little duck bill clip. Clip it right there spray it a little bit and that will help to start mold that as well. You can also take a little bit of this and spray it onto the curl part of the hair and that'll start helping you mold everything into place. And basically it's just a matter of spraying and molding things where you want them to be. Now for this side of my hair, Midge doesn't have a lot of like Marilyn Monroe volume happening, but I'm gonna give just a couple of little um, areas of back combing very, very lightly and just at the root, um, just because my hair tends to go flat throughout the day. So I'm just gonna lightly back comb through this and you can see I'm joining those two pieces together so that as I back comb, I don't get any little gaps. This also just helps marry any gaps between your curls that you uh, may have. <laughs> you hear Fitzy in the background, he's hungry. And he's out of food right now. His papa has his food. And he's trying to sneak into the cabinet to uh, where I keep the food when we're not out. While this little bang section is kind of out of the way, I'm gonna take my brush again and just start to brush all of this down into some waves. And then I'm just gonna comb them around my hand a bit to smooth all of that out, just a little bit. Again, we're just taming, taming some of that frizz. Once it starts to kind of go where you want it, put a little of that working spray on it and start to just kind of shape that into place. Now I'm gonna take my comb and start to comb this over. And again, I don't wanna comb it forward and I don't wanna comb it straight. I wanna comb it slightly toward the back of my head. and then these little curls will start to develop into whatever they feel like doing. A lot of times Midge has a very um, distinct wave right here. I don't know that my hair will actually do that because her bangs are a little bit longer than mine. And so um, I still am gonna have these little curly pieces, but you can see how it kind of comes back on itself. And she often uses that and sometimes it looks like it's pinned over here. So I kind of like how this is kind of curling right here. 
So I'm just gonna gently lay all of these little hairs into place. And this is the fun part of styling, I think, is once you kind of get to this point, you can see where all of your curls are and how they're going to lay and what you can do with them. And sometimes it's frustrating and sometimes you feel like you want to start over. And sometimes your curls didn't come out the way that you want them to. And sometimes your cat won't leave the cabinets alone so, <laughs> so that you can focus. Uh, but this is still the fun part for me. So now I'm going to just run across this with a little bit more of the working spray. And you want to make sure that you come down in here and get underneath the hair. But for that part, I'm going to go in with the finishing spray. This is what's going to lock everything like into place. So just really go to town. You can take the back end of your comb if you want to help lay any little little flyaway hairs down, little baby hairs. Get rid of any static. And I like to run my hands over the spray because it just really helps to set everything in. If you want, you can take a little duckbill clip, pop it in here, and that'll just really solidify that curl. Then I'm gonna take the finishing spray here, spray it over the top of that, and I'm gonna let that really dry into place. And if you're looking for a little bit of extra hold at this point, you could take a hair dryer and um, use the cool setting. So you'd spray your hair, and then take your hair dryer and just lightly hold it over that area until it's completely dry, and that'll give you an even extra hold on all of this curl down here. Once you spray the life out of everything and it's perfectly dry, you can come back and take out your clips. If you want to add a bobby pin, you can. Um, sometimes the hairspray holds enough, sometimes it isn't enough. So if you need to add one, um, I've got these little ones that are green and sort of match my hair, which is kind of nice. You can just run that into the hair and that'll help hold it as well. Same thing over here. Once that's dry, you can take it out and you can see that just helped me solidify that cute little wave that I created right there. And that's my Maisel look done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave those down below. Be sure to join me here next week for another Maisel Monday. And if you need more of me in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram at how to be fancy. I'd love to see you over there as well. Hope you're having a great week. I love you guys very much. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. It's just another Maisel Monday.